Hi folks. I thought I'd just make a real quick video on how to get started uh, updating Liquibase code. So first thing you would do, and we're not going to go through all the GitHub type uh, information, but basically you would fork your uh, code off of master or whatever version that you happen to be working on uh, or uh, make a um, make a branch out of it. And then uh, you would clone that down to your local desktop. So here I'm going to just go ahead and get clone. And in my case, I'm just actually going to just pull the master version or the master branch uh, because I have access to create and make updates. Now that I have that, you're also going to need a Liquibase properties file. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. There's my properties file. And basically you're gonna need a, a log file information, your URL to your JDBC connection. In this case, I'm using Postgres, your login information, and the jar file that you're gonna be using as part of the actual uh, connection to that particular database. Now that you have those kind of three basic, four basic requirements, we're gonna go ahead and open up our code in IntelliJ. So you'll need to use, or you could use your own IDE. I happen to be using IntelliJ's IDE, or we can open our import. And here's my project under code, my Liquibase project here. So let's go ahead and open that up. The first thing you'll do is you'll go over to Maven. You go over to Liquibase root. Under lifecycle, you will compile. Run Maven build. And this will uh, create all the dependency classes that you'll need in order to be able to deploy. And run debug uh, your, your particular project. Now that we've built successfully, that's great. Now we'll go ahead and set up and add our configuration. Okay, now let's go add a configuration. <coughs> we'll go ahead and add an application-based configuration. And here we'll use uh, search. And we'll use this main class here out of core. So Liquibase integration command line main. Our program arguments are the Liquibase command that you would like to run or debug. There's my generate change log. And then this working directory is going to be where that properties file is that we created earlier. So in our case, it's the properties file that we're gonna use here based on that change log and these configuration parameters and the class path information, right? Again, we're using Postgres. Um, class path we're gonna be using is Liquibase core. So use this class path for the module. We'll use the default JDK, or you can specify an additional JDK, and then we'll click OK. Now that we have everything set up, let me go ahead and name this. We'll call this Postgres XML because it's an XML based change log that I'm running through. You can name it whatever you like. Click OK. And now we'll go ahead and run debug and validate that this actually works. So we should have running, it's parsing our classes, it's compiling, it's running the build process to validate that we can actually use uh, all the source code that we have. The first time you run this, it'll take a little bit longer. And in this case, our jar file did not exist. So we'll need to point it to an actual jar file. So 
All right, back to fixing this up. We're just going to keep it easy and put the Postgres jar file in the same place as our properties file. So I changed my class path to this. And let's go ahead and run this again and validate that we can generate change log was executed successfully. Great. Now you can start to debug. You validated that everything is there. And you may decide you want to put breakpoints on generate change log as the example and start from there. So you can add your breakpoints wherever you need them to be able to start debugging uh, and validating or making, making changes to your system. Thank you very much.